This episode is brought to you by InstantPodcastLeader.com, the leading platform to launch your podcast in 48 hours and make it profitable. Get your free audiobook and free web class at InstantPodcastLeader.com forward slash web class. Hi, I'm Janisha Alora, founder of Soul Rich Woman, the number one leading female entrepreneur network in Southeast Asia, supporting one million women to own and love the F word. Fabulous freedom, financial independence, and happy family. Alone, you are strong. Together, we are unstoppable. So go to soulrichwoman.com, grab your free five-day online program, Money and Me, How to Get Anything You Desire. Welcome to my show. Hello, gorgeous, and thank you so much for listening to my podcast, Soul Why. I really appreciate it. Make sure you're following me on social media as well. I'm at Janisha Alora on Instagram, Facebook, TikTok, and LinkedIn at G-E-N-E-C-I-A-A-L-L-U-O-R-A. Or find me at soulrichwoman.com and share with me your stories because I love hearing your aha moments about these episodes and it's going to be super fun. So stay connected. In today's episode, I want to talk about my top three tips when money is tight. Let's be honest, it's really been a certain, quite an uncertain time for a lot of people, especially if COVID-19 has happened and a lot of restrictions on businesses and of course traveling and many more. It's been natural to be thinking about cash flow in this climate. I know, it's also been on my mind as well. But there are many plenty of ways for you to manifest more money for your business. All businesses have ups and downs in cash flow. So if you're a bit of a lean period right now, exceptionally normal, okay? Absolutely, and it's very normal. So here are three things that you can do when money is tight for you. Number one, shut down any unnecessarily spending. Are there cases or areas in your business that you can scale back or delay spending money? Can you put a few things on hold, like maybe the new logo or no new causes for a while? Or even some of the software that is running. Are there certain softwares you can put on hold as well? But don't cut back on things that will make your life harder or you will stop making money. Number two, focus on money-making activities. I know it's obvious, but sometimes we will resist it. It can be really overwhelming when you start to feel that pinch. And sometimes that can lead to procrastination due to fear and overwhelm. But here's the thing, money isn't going to come in by itself. So it's time to focus on purely money-generating activities for a while, which means that you might need to put certain, uh, some creation of things or other projects on the back burner. So what's going to bring in the dough? For example, sending sales emails to your newsletter list or doing live streams on Amazon or even on TikTok live streams for social commerce, creating a sale on a product that you've already got, I bet there are some products that you've got just sitting there waiting to launch. Another great way is to generate with um, some cash is to chase up some of your existing clients or even look at your portfolios. Is there any things you can cash out that you can use for this current climate? I know there are always a few clients that owe money that sometimes you might be a little bit relaxed in chasing up. So just, just go and follow up. You've probably also got potential clients who have made inquiries about your products or services and you just haven't gotten around to answering them. So just jump on them and I bet that you'll be able to generate some cash quickly. Number three, tell people what exactly you have to offer. I love sales strategies. Ethical ones, of course, but a really overlooked and almost too obvious is just telling people how you can help them. It's like you're just beating around a bush in your social media creation, but never really telling people what exactly is your offer and how they can buy it. For example, like, I have this thing and here's how you can buy it. I know it feels more complicated than that. But for example, if you are giving a lot of free at the moment to help your community 
At the end, say something really simple like, hey, if you want to take this further, here's how I can help you. If you're going to do a free webinar on how to create your own website, you say, and if you really just want me to do it for you, here's my website package. Or if you're doing tarot card reading or healing work and you're like, okay, if you want to take this further, this is how you can sign up with me to do a one hour of card reading or one hour of energy healing. And this is my package prizes. And if you're a live streamer on Amazon on t- or, or on TikTok, you tell people exactly how to work with you. If you're showing people how to really up their level of self-care right now, you can also say, I have a package of candles, mask, and chocolate. You can purchase in this bundle. And if you're like me, you have your own skincare, you can tell people, hey, you can purchase this bundle A with your moisturizer and your serums together to help you to lighten your pigmentation and dark spots. This will be a package for you. Two for the price of one. For example, or buy two, get one free. It literally works virtually for anything and everything and in total integrity. And even if you have to sell an hour of your time, make the offer. It's okay to give free and it's okay to have solution for people. There'll always be people who want to take the next step. And if you don't tell them, they won't know how to go for the next step. So offer it. If not, they won't know. And don't be afraid to reach out to clients, whether they are established customers or potential customers. What you offer may actually be something they are needed right now. Yeah, that you might never know. Don't judge in your mind about who you are and what you can offer. Just tell people, let them decide if they need it or not. So don't make the decision for people. Everything and everyone values something different, something completely different at this current moment. Something that feels an unnecessary luxury to one person might be vital part of someone else's self-care, mental health or personal growth right now. Share what you know can help people and make an offer to the ones who want the next step. Here's the bonus tip. And this, all this comes down to how you feel about your money and your money mindset. I know myself, when I get these lean times or when we've got a month with a lot of outgoings, sometimes I also let the fear come in and I doubt myself as ability, my own ability as a businesswoman or as an entrepreneur. So I want you to stop that right in your tracks because you have to remember exactly why you are in business yourself. Is it for freedom? Is it for flexibility? Or is it for the ability to generate more money than you did in your old job? Is it for fabulous, for freedom, for financial independence and your happy family? You're just an F word away to creating that soul rich woman life. So keep your eye on the prize and remind yourself exactly on a daily basis why you're doing this. Try this affirmation. I serve, I deserve. I serve, I deserve. If you want more support to work through your money blocks, then the training and the community in my Soul Rich Woman Blueprint program might be what you are looking for. Come join us when you are ready. Remember, you are ready for the next step. What's your aha moment for this episode? Do drop me a message on my social media, on TikTok, LinkedIn, Instagram at Janisha Alora at G-E-N-E-C-I-A-A-L-L-U-O-R-A or just drop me an email at hello at soulrichwoman.com and that is H-E-L-L-O at soulrichwoman S-O-U-L-R-I-C-H-W-O-M-A-N dot com soulrichwoman.com Okay, looking forward to speak with you soon. Bye for now. Hey gorgeous, I can help you to build your dreams. Now you can work with me in my Money Mindset Coaching Program and Mastermind Community Soul Rich Woman. The more you surround yourself with inspiring, successful and supportive people, the more you'll feel safe to dream. Let's clear all the old stories, beliefs and sabotages that are stopping you, holding you back and making you go round and round in circles and not allowing you to create your soul-rich life. Fabulous, 
freedom, financial independence, and a happy family. It's fun and practical. That is s o u l r i c h w o m e n dot com, or simply email us at hello at solichwoman dot com. So come and join us. <laughs>